Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about using the law of assumption to set up your year ahead 2023. Now this is going to be your best year yet because this is your best year yet. Remember with law of assumption, we are living from the end. So in order to create the best year yet, we are going to be putting ourselves ahead a year and reflecting on the amazing year that 2023 has been for you now. If you're confused, stay with me. <laughs> My name is Hedley Dorenzi and the whole point of this channel is to help you deepen your understanding of law of assumption, but most importantly, apply these principles and techniques to your life so that you can be enjoying the reality that you desire to enjoy while you are in these beautiful bodies that you have been gifted with to experience all that there is here to experience on this wonderful, magical, magnificent earth. And we do that through the stories and the assumptions that we are telling ourselves and others. And so I want to help you to tell the best possible stories that you can tell yourself and others using the law of assumption. If you'd like additional support with this, I am available for one-to-one -one coaching. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling. And I'm on Instagram, sort of. I'm, I mean, I'm on it, but I'm not really on it. <laughs> but I'm on it. So all of those details are in the box below this video. But let's get into the important content of why we are here. And that is to set up 2023 to be your best year yet. And we are going to be doing that from the position of already having lived 2023. And I'm going to explain how we do that. So stick around. We are at the end of another year, 2022. Based on the conversations I've had with people at the end of year events that I've been to, this has been an unexpectedly challenging year for many. Now, for me, I've had one of the best years I've ever had because I have law of assumption on side and I've been using it uh, consistently throughout this year. And I've just had an amazing year. And I know using these teachings that this is how to set the next year up. And that's what I want to share with you today. But if you have had a difficult year with 2022, just know that you are not bound to your reality. You are not bound to your events, whether they are past or future. You're not bound because all that is happening is now. Past and future are just concepts of consciousness existing in your imagination. When you think of the past, it's not real. It's just happening in your imagination. When you think of the future, same thing. It's just that we have experienced the past with our five senses. Therefore, we are more anchored into those memories because we can generate those sensory memories when we think of those past events. And so therefore, they, are, they feel more real. And that's what commands the subconscious. It's the tones of reality and it's the senses that gives our imaginings the tones of reality. And that's what we want to be better at doing with our future events so that our future is just as real as our past. In fact, it's more real because we want to be creating more events, not replaying the past. So with 2022, what we want to do is draw a line in the sand and say, OK, this was the end of this year. Look for the favorable events. And what we are going to do is we are simply going to dissolve the unfavorable events of 2022 so that we don't bring them into the next year. Because what happens with this turn of the year? We get so excited and the year gets off to a start. And then at the end of the year, we're in the same position we have been at the end of the year where we're like, oh God, thank God this year's over. Oh yes, exciting, we're at another year. And we just keep playing out this same cycle of being super excited at the beginning and then super like totally keen to see the end of this year at the end of it. What we want to be doing is getting to the end of the year and being like, wow, what an amazing year this was. And I'm so excited for the year ahead because what you then do is you are setting yourself up for your best year yet every single year. And you are not bringing over the unfavorable events from the past year into the new year because what we don't revise remains active. It remains a memory. It remains active in our consciousness. And that's why we keep replaying out these same annual cycles of being really excited for all these new exciting new beginnings and then we get into the year and we realize everything's really just playing out the same old way and then we get to the end of the year we go oh thank god that year's over let's start again and then we just start again and we play the same shit out over again but we are not doing that because this time you know law of assumption and you are taking that into this new year which of course 
in consciousness there is no time, there is no year, it's just a man-made construct. But because we are in the 3D, having a 3D physical experience with our five senses, we are playing the game of time and space. So we're going to play with this yearly event and this new year, seeing the old year out, bringing the new year in, but we're going to do it differently because we are going to bring law of assumption into play. So what I want you to do, look back over 2022 and celebrate your successes. Write a list of all the things that you have been so proud of, that you've been happy about, that have been favorable, whether they were planned or whether they were things that just happened and that you were just really excited and happy about. And really look at what you achieved this year and what you're happy about. And then what we are going to do is we are going to use a blanket statement. We're not going to go back and look at all the old unfavorable things that have happened in this year. You can if you want. If you do, make sure you revise them. And by revise, you look at the memory and go, okay, what would I like to have happened with that instead? Like, how would I like to have played that out in the ideal scenario? Play it out until you've recreated that memory. Move on to the next one. Or you can use a blanket statement and say something like, I am dissolving and deleting all unfavorable memories in consciousness from the year 2022 and I am leaving them behind. They are not coming with me into 2023. I am beginning this new year from a fresh perspective and position where I am now the conscious creator of my reality now and I am only choosing to bring with me the favorable assumptions that are setting up the favorable events in my life and creating the life of my desires. So I am only taking with me into this new year the favorable, the healthy, the happy, the loving assumptions that are going to set me up for the event that I want to see and experience in this next year. So you can say something like that to dissolve anything that you don't want to bring with you into the new year. Remember, anything that is unfavorable, that remains unrevised, remains active in consciousness and you take it with you wherever you go, not only into the new year, but into every year after that. But we're not doing that because we are starting fresh. We are starting from a clean slate. Now, once you have done that, once you've looked back on your year and you've celebrated your successes and you have dissolved and deleted all of the unfavorable events that you don't want to bring with you, we are going to remain here in this moment now and we are going to move forward in consciousness to the end of 2023. So we are now at the end of 2023. So I want you to just settle into that. You are now at the end of 2023. And now I want you to ask yourself what has been the wonderful, favorable, successful events of 2023 that you are so grateful for. Think back over this last year of 2023 to these amazing successes that you have experienced. What are they? Write them down. Feel into them. Feel how good it was and feel how good it is to be at the end of 2023 celebrating those events that you have now experienced. And remember them. Remember how good it felt when you met your specific person. Remember how good it felt when you got that job promotion. Remember how good it felt when that amount of money just came in out of nowhere without you having to even lift a finger. It just, um, it just emerged from reality because you'd done the work. You had retold your money story and now you are seeing money show up in your reality in all these wild and wonderful magical ways. Think back and remember how wonderful it was to meet the new friends that you have met and to connect with this new community that you have connected with. Think back to how much better you felt this year, how much healthier you were, how much more exercise you did, how you ate better, how you drank more water, how you were telling yourself much better stories. Think back over 2023 and think back and remember all the wonderful things that you experienced this year and just let that settle into yourself feel how good that feels, feel what an amazing year it has been, be in the state of being so grateful for this year because remember back in 2022 you didn't take any of the old unfavorable stories and assumptions with you into the new year so you just had your best year yet 
And now, as you are moving into 2024, you're even more excited because even though 2023 has been the best year yet, you know, now that you know what you know, 2024 is going to be your best year yet. And this is now the way you come to the end of the year and the beginning of the new year. You are now excited for the end of the year and you are excited for the beginning of the year. No more of this, thank God this year's over. I can't wait to get to this new year. None of that. We're not doing that anymore. We are now arriving at the end of these years and we are going, wow, that was the best year yet. And now this is my best year yet because I'm expanding into even more of who I am. I'm experiencing even more of my desires. I'm manifesting even more consciously. I'm seeing exactly how my reality is showing up and I'm seeing things manifest faster because I have less resistance. I have less doubt because I'm seeing so much more success in my reality. Things are just happening faster, happening quicker. And I'm just telling myself better stories, holding better assumptions. And as a result, I'm seeing them reflected back in my reality. And I am just expanding into better and better and higher and higher versions of myself. And I'm becoming even more of myself. And it's just getting better and better and better. That's the state we are coming from and going to. Of course, it's all happening now. So I wanted to just offer that to you. Celebrate 2022 and celebrate 2023 and just keep celebrating because you are the cause and creator of your reality. And the more you know this, the more you practice this, the more you will experience this every single year for the rest of your life. I'm sending you much love. As always, please remember you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor of your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too and you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. Sending much, much love. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of my movie in 2022. And I will see you in 2023, the best year yet. Bye.